With gas prices at record highs, could solar power be a future solution? Some University of Michigan students are working toward that goal. They brought their solar-powered car to Chrysler's wind tunnel recently to consult with Chrysler engineers and learn more about the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Alex Dowling, a chemical engineering student at the University of Michigan, explains what his team hoped to find out at Chrysler's wind tunnel. Behind me is Continuum, um, the ninth generation vehicle of the University of Michigan solar car team. Um, today we are at um, Chrysler Technical Center um, testing in their wind tunnel. Um, this vehicle is built by a team of students at the University of Michigan, um, and we race it in both the World Solar Challenge and North American Solar Challenge. We're at Chrysler today um, to both characterize the aerodynamic performance of the vehicle and consult with Chrysler's engineers and aerodynamicists on a couple key issues. Including the driver, the carbon fiber body weighs just 650 pounds. Photovoltaic solar panels, similar to those used on satellites, power the car's single front wheel. But just as the sun provides energy to propel continuum, wind and aerodynamic drag drains power from the batteries. This vehicle um, can drive at, cruise, or at highway speeds consuming as much power as a large hair dryer. Um, the solar array on the vehicle can peak at around two kilowatts of power, um, and provided that the sun is shining, we can keep on driving. The break-even speed of the vehicle is around 55 to 60 miles an hour. Um, so on a sunny day, we can go about 60 miles an hour without draining our battery pack. At the speeds that we plan on cruising, the number one power draw on the vehicle is aerodynamics second rolling resistance. Um, it, it's probably 60% of the power that we consume, depending on speed, of course. Um, so as you can see, the vehicle is very much streamlined. Um, it's a low frontal area, um, fairly low drag coefficient. Chrysler Aerodynamics Specialist said they've never seen a vehicle like Continuum in the wind tunnel. Uh, this was quite a unique vehicle and challenge for us. Uh, we've never tested, to my knowledge, a three-wheel vehicle, so that's been a little bit of engineering, technical um, uh, uh, development needed. And then also this is a very extremely low drag vehicle, so it's beyond anything that we would ever do for our production cars. So it's, it's going to be an interesting uh, lesson for us. Aerodynamics plays a critical role in the speed and range for Continuum and also in the fuel economy of production vehicles out on the road. Aero is, is the uh, second most important thing for fuel economy behind weight. And so we affect, um, primarily it's the highway fuel economy that numbers that we're affecting. The University of Michigan put Continuum to the test this month in the North American Solar Challenge, a 2,400-mile, 10-day race from Plano, Texas to Calgary, Alberta. Hail to the victors! Continuum won the race, finishing 10 hours ahead of its nearest competitor. Dowling's job during the race was to follow Continuum in a chase car. I particularly um, wouldn't like to drive the vehicle because that I can't do what I love to do, which is race the vehicle. Um, I actually sit behind um, the vehicle in our chase car that travels behind the solar car and I determine what speed to drive it. Our driver is also put up with a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of sweat. Um, you can see that there's only one air duct in the front. Um, it's known that in our solar cars in the past, um, it's gotten up to about 120, 130 degrees Fahrenheit inside the cockpit. Um, drivers drive for up to six hours at a time. Um, and they are in a slightly uncomfortable seating position. Chrysler congratulates the University of Michigan and the solar car team on their victory, their fifth national championship in nine races. I'm Betty Carrier Newman reporting.